Howdy doody, everybody. My name is Kev Gooey, and welcome to the Wolf's Bite. The Wolf's Bite is a one vs one choose your own adventure game with an entrepreneur fairy tale twist. Inspired by stories such as the Three Little Pigs and the Stinky Cheese Man and other fairly stupid tales. What? The Stinky Cheese Man? I've never heard of that uh, story ever. The game revolves around thwarting the other player while ensuring your business thrives. All uh, right, I like fairy tales. I didn't know about the Stinky Cheese Man. But uh, anyways, let's just go and play the game. How many players? One player. Select your character. What is that? Two cups of snark, half a spoon of brawl, three ounces of foolishness, three cups of quick wit, ten ounces of stubbornness, eight and a half cups of grudge. Hmm. I, I take the three piggies. After failing to tr thrive in the highly competitive residential demolition industry, most due, mostly due to difficulties dealing with brick construction, the big bad wolf decided it was time for a career change. And able to resist the lure of entrepreneurship, he decides to enter the restaurant business. Three low pigs are satisfied with their free sample demolitions are conspiring against the big bad wolf and his new restaurant, the Wolf's Bite. The whole village turned out for the grand opening. Will the big bad wolf finally launch a successful enterprise or will the three little pigs throw up a metaphorical brick wall and stop him? Oh. Pigs now play. Hey, that's you. Hmm. Let's go to the witch's hut. Put the hex on the wolf, have your fortune told. Ah. Have your fortune told. Three non refundable, completely binding predictions for the future all for free. What a bargain! Hooves crossed for something nasty for the wolf. The room went dark, a chill filled the air. Suddenly, an otherworldly voice that was everywhere and nowhere at the same time said, Hindsight is foresight when history repeats. Showing how effective bricks were at stopping the wolf before, the pigs decided to stock up on bricks for any future huffing and puffing. This reminds the town of the wolf's previous transgressions. The wolf loses one reputation. During your time at the witch's hut, she mentions her proficiency with bring inanimate objects to life. After all, she enchanted an entire castle for the beast? This gives you an idea. Could she enchant the silverware at the wolf's bite to give the diners a real scare? I like the wolf, she says, so I only enchant one utensil. Only choose wisely. Hmm, not everyone's gonna have, uh, use forks or spoons. I think the plates would be the best thing to do. And now the plates have a soft spot for the bus boys. No one likes like to be critical but underappreciated, the place decides to give the bus boys a night off and bust themselves. This boosts step around and saves the wolf a night's wages. Dang it! The wolf gains one wealth. Hmm. Train reader of cuisine is pure. Spend the day training under the watchful eye of pure Cipriani. With his expert tutelage and rigorous instruction, your cooking knowledge and culinary technique grow. The wolf's bite gains and want equality. The wolf muffin man is conducting a weekend baking seminar at the Culinary Institute and has personally requested your attendance. What are you going to do? Hmm, okay, he's gonna make up his own recipe. The Muffin Man sure knows his stuff, but unfortunately the subtleties of blueberries versus chocolate chips are lost on you as you fail to grasp ba basic baking. At least we know the smoke detectors work. The wolf's bite loses two quality. Yes! Daily a famous food critic coming to town. Gus Fior has caught wind of the intrigue surrounding the wolf's bite and would like to feature it on his show restaurants, taverns, and bars. Will the episode be about redemption or revenge or only time will tell? Okie dokie. The city hall. The neighborhood. This is the pig's house. Break into the wolf's house. Nah, let's uh, go to city hall. Lobby or volunteer? Let's volunteer. Sometimes you catch more flies with honey. If 
By volunteering at City Hall, you can trade a few hours of time building rapper with various people, ultimately adding credibility to your future attacks in the wolf's bite. After all, who wouldn't trust the guys who willingly put up litter, pick up litter, and fix those pesky potholes at no charge? The pigs gain rotten reputation. These city cats is holding elections to fill two vacant seats, and you intend to put a for porky butt in one of them. Oh, that was like forky butt, and that's I just pictured like a, uh, you know, the pig's butt and then fork right in it. If you have a hand in making decisions for the city, you can craftily steer the cancer away from whatever benefits the wolf's bite. It's the perfect plan, but you need to think carefully if you want to cause the most damage. Which position do you run for? Treasurer. With a certain let me be your piggy bank, you win the election by his landslide. Oh my gosh, that, that, wow, that's good. When you suggest the city's money could be better spent on playgrounds and restaurants, the council agrees. No more government assistance for the wolf's bite. The reduction in subsidies causes the wolf to lose to wealth. Alright, so we are winning by landslide. 30% and $10. And the bar. Eating without drinking is boring. You need to spice things up and try out the liquid arts. With the same culinary flair that led to your famous oysters, Carnage. Carnegie? You serve up a bunch of flaming howlers to bar patrons who cannot get enough. Hopefully, nobody minded you had a few too. The wolf gains your reputation. Jane Porter, after years of living in the wild, has recently returned to civilization. Not sure why a nightclub, with its flashing lights and loud music, was her host's first choice. Overwhelmed by the stimulus, Jane jumped behind the bar for cover where her curiosity was piqued by the soda gun, which she seized immediately prior for dousing patrons with seltzer and cola. Fire bad, wolf make fire, wolf bad, bad wolf. Oh, wow, wow. Tarzan swung down from the VIP section, left over the bar, and drop kicked him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Jane Porter from Tarzan. I was like, who's Jane Porter? I'm trying to think of like a fairy tale. Tarzan, get rid of Wolf. Get rid of Fire. Save Jane. And with that, Tarzan ties the curb. Fortunately, no flaming howlers were spilled in the process. The wolf loses three reputation. Wow. The Daily Wolf. Unexpected dashes of mischief at the wolf's bite. The restaurant business is fraught with difficulties, but the wolf's first foray into fine dining is off to a particularly imp unimpressive start. Rumors are circulating that the pigs may be behind the sputtering start, but they are unconfirmed at time of print. Who knows? Hmm. Train and food sabotage with Seamus McManus. Train restaurant operations with Giuseppe Babineau. Sure. Spend the week getting a deeper understanding of how restaurants operate and the business side of things. Giuseppe has no idea how helpful this will be as you search for weaknesses in the wolf's new business. The wolf's bite loses one quality. With the advent of new electronic payment methods, restaurants have had to upgrade all of their point of sale machines and software to food pay 2.0. This upgrade allows patrons to split checks and most importantly tip the wait staff directly. This subway has a few bugs which are not widely known and can be exploited by innovative restaurant saboteurs. One particularly enterprising group of saboteurs once convinced the entire wait staff to go on strike over tip misappropriations. Hmm. Dinner's on the house tonight. What if we zeroed out the bill but left the tip? This way, nobody would know there was a problem with the finances until it was too late. We could even redirect the restaurant fund to an anonymous offshore account. Luckily for the wolf, the, the developers patched their software, but not before the pigs gained four wealth, while the wolf lost one wealth. Yes, we're the big meanie piggies. Man, the wolf is trying to like, you know, you, you know, kind of, you know, get better for himself, you know? Trying to make something out of himself, you know, away from trying to eat the piggies. Now the piggies are just super mean and just want to sabotage him. Malnourishment is a key element that perpetuates the vicious cycle of poverty. By teaching people how to cook nutritious and affordable meals, you can life break, you can help break the circle, and empower people to improve their lot in life. You will spite gains one quality. The bad dogs are trying to convince the local pups to join their gang, essentially committing themselves to a life of crime and squandering their potential. 
As a concerned member of the community, it is incumbent upon you to break this vicious cycle and prevent the corruption of the... Uh, pops. Face away the gang. Armed with a rolled up newspaper and a spray bottle, you storm towards the gang members. Run for it, boys, he's packing. The bad dog scattered terrified. What? Really? Gee, mister, that was really brave. I wanna be like you when you grow up. A young pup said, looking up at you. Wait, I wanna be like you when you grow up? Alright. Probably need to uh, get some education there. <laughs> I was very confused for a second. The wolf gains sea reputation. Daily Wolf, something fishy at the wolf's bite. The wolf may be in over his head with his first restaurant. We've received first hoof accounts of chaos in the kitchen and shocking details, such as Reuben sandwiches served without bright bread and nobody being sure if chips are fries or crisps. Hopefully, the wolf can turn the ship around. Oh, bad side of town. Kick it with the West Side Porkers gang? Nah, we could get a bad rap for us. Oh, the lake. Go hiking, relax by the lake. Wolf's bite, be guests in the restaurant, work in the restaurant. <gasps> work in the restaurant. Ah, grocery store. Offer in store cooking classes. Sneer, smear can be against the wolf's bite. Hmm, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna relax by the lake. Trying to take down the wolf's bite is hard work. Sometime off to relax will help boost your creativity to come up with new pranks and new strategies to run the wolf, wolf out of business. The refresh pigs gain one reputation. While the lake, the pigs encounter the woodsmen drunk and staggering. Hey, Biggie, you help me get back on track and I'll help you deal with that, whoa? What do you say? Hmm. Give him a drink. Oh, Piggish, this is what I want, but I like it, it's just the same. I'm gonna go get three under this drunk. Have a fantastic day. Make this one worth but gain one reputation. Hmm. Ah, I mean, our reputation is going super high. Up it up. Where's the wolf gonna go this time? Oh. Wow. Seafood is very fashionable these days. Serving fresh, wild caught fish will diversify your menu offerings and expand the appeal of your restaurant. You caught a bunch of big ones, this will feed a lot of patrons. The wolf's bite gains one quality. A beautiful mermaid appears at the lake. Brian, yet curious, she swims up to you apprehensively. I've never seen a wolf before, she says. I've never met a mermaid before, you reply. You both inch towards each other, curiosity dominating fear. Pausing at roughly arm's length, what is your next move? Huh. Being a chef who, does, who deals with seafood, you inquire about the mysteries of underwater creatures. A mermaid being a denizen of the deep is well versed in the details of such creatures. He spent hours discussing fish and crustaceans. He teaches you their intricacies and quirks, adding a subtle yet sophisticated enhancement to your preparation of these intriguing creatures. The wolf spite gains three quality. Oh no! Camera crew spied near the wolf's bite. Witnesses report Gus Fjord's camera crew was seen near the wolf's bite yesterday scouting for good anglers and recruiting potential interviewees. The buzz over Gus' appearance at the end of this week was renewed and restrained by the presence of his crew, which reports of fainting and swooning. Dang it! Alright, let's go. Let's work at the restaurant. Spend the day working in the restaurant, trying to bring it down from within. The new hiring manager was thrilled she was able to fill three open spots so quickly. From messing up orders to dropping trays of food on patrons, you ensured each customer's first visit to the Wolf's Bite was also their last. The poor hiring manager had no idea what she was getting into. The Wolf's Bite loses one quality. Celebrity chef and culinary instructor Pierre Cipriani is planning to attend the Wolf's Bite to see how his star people is doing. The emotional toll of failing in front of his mentor would be a double whammy for the Wolf. How do we want to sabotage the Wolf? Ah. Uh. Turn off the freezer. Change the thermostat. Change the thermostat. Throwing out all of the food into deep frost is going to damage the meat and throw off everyone's orders to serve timing. This not only offends Pierre's sophisticated palate, but also his restaurateur sensibilities. The wolf loses one wealth and the wolf spite loses one quality. Yes! Hmm, how many days is this? Day five right now. 
Neighborhood Watch. Domesticated wolves are the original watchdogs. While crime is generally rare in the city, the citizens can sleep a little more soundly knowing you are standing vigilant protecting them. The wolf gains one reputation. A surprise coat snap has caused a blizzard in this village. Nobody, even the Department of Public Works, is prepared to deal with such an event as it has not snowed in years. The town doesn't even have a plow. Bad roads mean people will stay home, and if they stay home, they won't eat at your restaurant. You need to do something right away. Free delivery? Oh. What seemed like an okay idea quickly turned into a massive energy and time suck. Yeah, that's what I assumed was gonna happen with if he chose that. What were you thinking? You collapsed in a heap after just a few blocks, too tired to open the restaurant after making too little progress to even garner any praise. Maybe a li little bit less impulsive next time. The town remains paralyzed by the snow and nobody eats at your restaurant. The wolf loses one wealth. Well done is rare at the wolf's bite. With Gus Fjord a mere two days away, it seems like the wolf can't get his act together in time to get be featured favorably. There's concerned reports of pandemonium from crawling bugs to dancing forks. There's nothing funny about this comedy of errors. Huh. All right, so let, where, where have we we've been? We haven't been to the barn yet. End of the dance competition? Yeah. The three LP crew has the sickest moves this side of the Green River. Players, windmills, and suicide flips can keep up with the triple pig shuffle, snap spins, and the pork bomb. Those suckers got served. The pigs gain one reputation and one wealth. Since the wolf occasionally attends bars, it behooves us to find ways to sabotage the barn. Either by ruining his shift or doing enough damage to force it to close for a few days. Frequent clubber Rapunzel could be a perfect unknowing partner in crime. We just need to get her going. What's our play here? Lion dance at country music night? Jump in the mosh pit at rock night? Use glow sticks at techno night? Lion dance. These were certainly hawing as acoustic guitar and banjo riffs had the barn dancing the night away. During the crescendo of the night when Save a Horse Ride a Lancer was playing, you get everyone to throw their 10 gallon hats into the air. Rapunzel having so much hair needed a 15 gallon hat, which, cr which crashes into the bar like a wrecking ball. <laughs> this brought the night to an abrupt halt. Unfortunately for the wolf, he was liable for the open tabs. The wolf loses one wealth. Yes! What's he gonna choose? <laughs> the mayor looks so funny. Oh, run to the barbarian. Small businesses like the wolf's bite are the backbone of any thriving community and its economy. You spend the week using your charm and political savvy networking with each council members and the mayor himself. You may not impact legislation, but it might snag you a few more catering gigs. The wolf gains one reputation, the wolf's bite gains one quality. They examine the entire town, the emperor has arrived for his annual visit, fully clothed this time of course. Being an avid foodie, he's demanded a sample of the finest cuisine this town has to offer. You graciously volunteer your best dish for him to analyze. But what do you serve a man of such discerning taste? Pork roulettes? Oh, Imperial Pork Duckin. Try to make something up and combine pork with duck in a veritable Frankenstein monster of a dish. Your intent to impress you may have been off more than you can chew. Your pork is dry, your duck is rubbery, and you may have accidentally used cilantro instead of thyme. After a single bite, the emperor politely excused himself, looking a bit green in the face. Uh, quell damage. The wolf loses three reputation, and the wolf's bite loses three quality. Oh my gosh, that was really bad for him. You lose your lunch at dinner. Our contact at the department restaurant management have informed us that numerous complaints have been lodged against the wolf's bite. While many seem to share the same handwriting, our contact has said the volume may call for a revocation of his license. At this rate, tomorrow's filming of restaurants, taverns, and bars may have to be cancelled. Yes! Hmm. The Culinary Institute. Train sabotage. Oh no, we already did this. Um, where haven't we gone? Offer in store cooking classes. Smear camp. Yeah, offer in store cooking classes, I, I think we should do. Oh, actually, we could do this. That's it. Now, we don't want to make a bad name for us. <laughs> it's Hello Red Riding Hood. The leading cause of visiting a restaurant is hunger, and a cure for hunger is cooking. By teaching people the joy of cooking, you can constructively harm the wolf's bite under the cover of doing good. 
The wolf sprite loses one quality. Despite being indirect competitors, the wolf does occasionally shop at the grocery store, which lengthens its supply chain and creates new opportunities for sabotage. What we need is to do is figure out a way to make everything in this cart more expensive. This will force him to either overpay or go without certain essentials. Of course, this needs to be done in such a way as to not alert the clerks of other shoppers. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's go with... Wait, not to alert the clerks or other shoppers. Hack the point sale system. Have an extra zero in the transaction in Wolfie. We won't see that for at least a month and by then all the food will be gone and the transaction will be irreversible. We should figure out a way to do this with our paychecks. Wolf loses too well. Yes! What's the Wolf gonna do? What's the Wolf gonna do? Is he gonna go here? Oh, he went back to the lake. Oh. Running a restaurant is extremely stressful, far more stressful than residential demolition was. A bit of rest and relaxation is much needed and much deserved. The rest lifts your spirits and fortifies your charming demeanor. The wolf gains one reputation. Needing a place to sit for a bit, the wolf sat upon what he thought was a large rock. Unbeknownst to him, it was actually the shell of Cap, an old and wise turtle. Who dares to spoil the shell of Cap? Trust now, answer my riddle or suffer my wrath. I have a face but no mouth, hands but no arms, and named grandfather but I have no children. What am I? Ah, uh, excellent young wolf. Use your wisdom beyond your years. If you can answer two more of my riddles, I will give you a treasure of immeasurable worth. But today, however, as a token of admiration for your wisdom, I will give you the silver coin. The wolf gains three wealth. Oh my gosh, three, three riddles and immeasurable riches. Stars amongst sloth. Gus Fuhrer came and came expecting a rising culinary star and found three little ones instead. Impressed by the pig's ability to come back from having two thirds of their real estate portfolio leveled, Gus Fuhrer decides to feature the brothers in their tactics as a warning to aspiring restaurateurs everywhere. Lupin Fiasco. The wolf told people he wanted to change, but the pig saw through his ruse. He was using the restaurant to fatten up the village so he could go on a hunt once everyone's guard was down. Why huff and puff to blow houses down when he can use his restaurant to be welcomed into people's houses with open arms? Thanks to the pig's fearless public awareness efforts for the wolf's reputation was in tatters, but they knew that just made him more dangerous. The pigs poured their finances into their biggest campaign, yet Muzzo the monster was geared to subjugate the wolf and eradicate the threat he posed to the town. The pigs succeeded beyond their widest dreams. Apparently, the village actually had a deep-seated fear of the wolf and the campaign became a rallying point. The mayor enacted the Carnivore Management Act, requiring all carnivores to wear muzzles in public. The pigs slept a little more soundly than that night, pleased with the job well done. Alright! That was awesome. Piggies destroyed the wolf's bite, everybody. Oh, yeah! We did it! Now... I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Ooh, that was awesome! That was really fun! Hmm, that was really fun, everybody. You guys, check out this game for yourself. The link is down below in the descriptions. And, ooh, I might go on into, into the wolf side. I'm, I'm not sure, but I might. But let me know down in the comments where you guys thought of this game. And did you guys like to choose your own adventure? Because I love to choose your own adventure games. Oh, this is so much fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!